Okay guys, so I have just spawned in this brand new survival Minecraft world and this is episode one of this little mini series I'm going to do, be doing showing you how to essentially, well, beat Minecraft. Um, in today's episode we're going to be looking at how you can beat your first night and as you can see straight away the first thing you want to do is find a tree. No matter what biome you're in, if you're in a desert, if you're in a forest, in a plains biome, in a snowy biome, you need to find some wood, okay? Wood is going to be your best friend right at the start of the game. Also, I've just noticed we're on an island. That's interesting. That's going to be interesting, actually. But, um, yeah, literally grab as much as you can. A silly mistake some people do is go straight looking for a village straight away. No, no, no. You cannot do that. Okay, so once you've got about 9 or 10 bits of wood, you're going to want to turn all of those into um, planks and then create a crafting table, just like so. Place that down. And firstly, you're going to want to make an axe, if we can make an axe. And also a pickaxe. So just like that. I'm sure you can know how to make them. But there you go for that. If you do see some sheep. Do feel free to kill them. However do not actively search for sheep. Because this could go wrong. You know if you spend too much time looking for sheep. You could just waste so much time. And then you know next thing you know it would be night time. And you'll be dead. Right come on give us some wool. Okay so we've actually got enough wool for a bed. However uh, we're not going to be making a bed for now. Because I just want to be able to show you guys. Kind of like. What to do, you know, if you can't find sheep because you might not be able to find them all the time. And then with your wooden axe, you're going to make sure you do find some animals for a bit of food. However, the main thing we want to focus on is having a shelter. It's much better to have a shelter than to and have no food than to have some food and have no shelter. Um, so literally, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be anything pretty to begin with. Um, it could literally be, you know made out of dirt if you really wanted it to but you know we'll go we'll be a bit classy we'll have a bit of um, acacia planks um where's a good building location i'm thinking we could literally right just build it off the side yeah i like that idea i like kind of like having a suspended sort of uh platform because that way it's much the only way mobs would be able to get us is from that bit there and so if we just make a little platform for us here and we're going to start building our little shelter. It does not need to be big at all. It does not need to be big to begin with. Right, okay, guys. So I'm just getting a little bit more wood. But one note I'd like to mention is, if you're like me and you're in a biome, maybe you're on an island that's quite isolated, or you're in a desert, or, you know, somewhere that's quite sparse of trees, do collect your saplings. And you see that I've got an oak sapling. You can easily just place those down and replant them. And, you know, once you get, you know, and when you get a little bit more sufficient, a little bit more um, kind of like advanced, then you can kind of leave to find new land. Like you can see here, we've got another island over there, which looks a bit better. But for now, we'll stick to this island. Um, it'll probably be a bit safer as well. But um, you can see here, I'm just collecting wood, lots and lots of wood um, to go and finish our shelter Right, let's have a little look at the sun. Oh, it's just gone past midday, which means we've got literally just under five minutes to finish our shelter. And then night time will be here. So, uh, let's go quickly. Let's go quickly. Uh, one thing also to mention is if you do see any animals, of course, do kill them for food, like I said. But um, if you can't find any, do not spend time actively seeking them. Just make sure you've got a shelter. Another small and what may seem obvious tip is just always make sure you've got your crafting table with you. Um, because... Basically, you know, it just saves a little bit of wood in that starting time. Let's just place a dirt block there. You can see here, this is our shelter. Does not look anything nice at, nice at the minute, does it? I know it doesn't. But of course, this is just your first day. You need to make sure you're safe rather than making everything look pretty. I really want to make it look nice, but we need to be safe. I'm also going to grab this food. Seeing as we now have a shelter, we can... Oh, I've just lost my axe, so we're going to have to make a new one. But seeing as I now have a shelter, I can kind of like afford to just, you know, go out a bit and get a bit of um, food. And let's put ourselves a little door. There we go. Very, very nice. And you guys might may be wondering why I kind of left um, that little dirt patch there. And you might be thinking, well, surely you could just cover that up with some wood, right? Well, that is because we are going to make a little mine here. So I'm going to grab myself a wooden shovel. Um, oh, let's make sure this is all blocked off, of course. Let's make sure it's all blocked off. Nice and cool. Nice and cool like that. There we go. And um, we're just going to make a little mine here. Um... It's really, really safe instead of, like, going out and making another mine. Because, you know, if we get into any trouble at all, which we probably shouldn't, we can just run straight back up here and we'll be in our base with the door shut. And now already I've seen something that we are going to need, desperate need of, which is coal. You, you kind of need to make sure you've got coal on the first day. Um, now, you could find a water cave because they're much easier to see. Um, so, like, if you go out to the ocean and find a cave, they're much easier to find coal in because you can kind of just see it better. But, um, you know, if you do happen to find coal like I have just done, then do make sure you grab it because you need torches to light up your base because mobs will start spawning in. And if you go mining as well, the mobs will spawn and it will just be, well, it'll be a disaster, an absolute disaster. 
Right, there we go. We've got all the coal. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Right, now let's just fix up our staircase a bit because we don't want it looking all horrible. There we go. Now you'd never know anything was there, would you? And so now we've got some coal. We need to actually grab some stone because we've got food, but we can't we can't do much with raw food. I guess we could eat it, but it won't it won't be effective. So you need to get at least eight coal, and you can probably see where I'm going. I'm going to be making a furnace, of course. Um, and of course we've got all the coal we need so just like that we've made our furnace bum 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 whack it down extra crafting table and let's put that food in there and get that cooking right oh dear it is starting to get dark so i'm going to make sure we've got our bed ready just in case of any problems oh well hopefully we don't have any problems but we've got that bed ready i'm going to try and survive the night though guys just in case you guys can't find a bed i'm going to stick with you and we'll try and see if we can fight off any baddies right let's close that make sure it's all blocked in so nothing falls inside because that would be awful and once you've got your cooked food make sure you have a little bite make sure you've got full hunger and i'm actually going to magpie or steal a little bit of this coal and make some sticks and we need to get torches everywhere guys i don't mean just inside the base i don't mean just inside the um, actual What's it called? The cave bit. I've been mean, outside, inside, absolutely everywhere. Da dash the place to torches. That's it. Literally just litter of torches. Um, even if it looks like it's too much, it probably isn't. You can never be too safe. We need to make sure that these mobs do not spawn, at least in the immediate area of our base. If we die, then oh, it's not going to be ideal. So just make sure everywhere's all lit up like that. Yes. <gasps> I've just dropped my pickaxe. Oh dear. That'd be terrible. Oh, he's over there. He's on the roof. Don't tell me he's going on the roof. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Ah! <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, okay. He can't get us in here. Just remember, you are safe. Oh, my word. I hate that there's this gap through the door because I can see him. Can I hit him? No. Right. Are you ready, guys? And then you can start to be a little bit risky and attacking. But make sure you do have a weapon, of course. Don't just use your fists. Yeah, you see, because we've lit up the area, it was only just him. Oh, there's another one coming, but I think we can take it. I think we're ready to take it on. We've got food. We've got a sword. There we go. As long as there's not many mobs, it's fine. Oh, my word. That's a baby. That's a baby. Guys, if you see a baby, you must run. If you see a baby, you must run. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Right, I'm going to the mines. And next up, we are going to be looking for some iron. We found more coal, but still no iron. This is frustrating. But don't don't be too, you know, out of luck, as I said before, if you can't find any iron straight away. You've got to trust the process. And it'll also be a lot easier at um, daytime because you'll be able to go out a bit more, maybe find some other caves and look for iron there. But for now, we've got a little bit more coal, which we can, well, you can guess what I'm going to do. We're going to make torches. Torches are our best friend. We are going to just place them absolutely everywhere um, and also use some coal for some smelting in the furnace. Uh, we're going to make some more torches, but as the sun comes up and the moon goes down, it is nearly day one. It's nearly the end of the first night. Let's wait for that moon to go off screen. Let's wait for it to disappear behind the ocean. Go on. Go on. There's still a witch knocking about. The witches and creepers aren't going to despawn, sadly, which is quite sad. But the sun's going up. The moon has gone down. It is officially day two on this Minecraft world. There we go. The sun's going up. Everything looks nice and pretty. And we are safe. We survived the night. So that is pretty much it for today's first episode. I just thought I'd show you, you know, kind of like a few different tips on how to survive. Of course, a little recap. Make sure you get wood as soon as you can. Do not waste time looking for villages or sheep. If you do find some sheep along your travels, do kill them um, and get their wool. But, of course, do not waste time looking for them because you need to make sure you have a shelter. You can then move on to make a mine inside your base so it's nice and accessible and safe. Um... Just keep mining a little staircase like you saw me do. We'll just go back there for a minute. All, essentially, all you do is just mine down and make a nice staircase so it's easy to get back up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.